Ace Queen of Diamonds for JD in the small blind. Is he three bets to 800? Oh, Nate actually called in between the three six of diamonds and the hijack. Now Brian Green. This might be a four bet opportunity. Specifically versus JD, but it looks like he might just be called. No, be no I, li I like the four bet here. Um, especially Ooh, saucy. Especially versus JD, who's kind of got a three better fold strategy out of the small blind. And he puts in the big boy bets. 2,500, full 3x to JD here. He's now out of position. This is a rough spot to be in with Ace Queen. You don't love it, but it looks like he is going to come along. This is a big pot. This is a huge pot developing. Give me a Jack Ace Queen flop or Jack King 10 two diamonds. Yeah. Something like that. Oh, that's, that's going to get some money in the middle. Queen 10 10, two hearts. JD flops good. Uh, check, check, check quick by Mr. Brian on the turn. Very interesting. JD's probably now putting him on a lot of ace, king, and jacks. Exactly. He does continue oh. to check the queen here. I like it. I like it. Giving JD all the room he needs to Brian. bet out with ace, king, or exactly jacks. And he is pot controlling in the instance that Brian Green decided to check back aces and kings, which I think would be often correct on this board. You can't fold just yet. 1900. That's <laughs> put by JD. I mean, it's just results oriented. We can see the cards, but no, it's a he good. Got an additional it's 1900. A, it's man. a very good check twice. I think. I think. I don't know how you get there in your mind, but he made it happen. Oh yeah, I think. Uh, I think he has played it pretty well thus far. And once uh, Brian Green gets a call on the turn, he's probably going to check this back. Yeah, often enough. Jacks have too much showdown value to turn into a bluff, and. They are not going to get called by much that is worse. So there you go, JD, playing it well, my man. Somehow we just like casually max. had a $9,000 pot. Very casually. As we see Moneymaker open up seven, six of diamonds and adding going to put in the three bet here, ace queen. I think that's pretty standard. And Jimmy. Uh -oh. Waking up big slick. Just a flat call here out of the biggest blind, which is going to very much price Mr. Moneymaker into the pot three ways. Trying not to, I guess, over bloat a pot. Wow, dude. Look at this flop for Moneymaker. And what a flop for Moneymaker. He's basically got the nuts. <laughs> Does check it over to Addy. Checks it back. Give me an ace on the turn, dealer. How about king. a king? Uh -oh. How about a king? Jim? And the ace of spit. Addy's got nut spade. Oh, Jimmy's no. got top top, and Moneymaker has trip oh, six Oh, my God. We see money go into the middle here. Wow, ace queen actually doing better than ace king in this spot. Jimmy, I think, probably going to lead out on this card. And I think Moneymaker's probably just going to call, I'd say. You hate to get... Re raise. Yeah, this is the terrible spot to get re raised. Now Addy getting just an absolutely massive price to draw to the nut flush. flush. Oh man, I would certainly put in the call here. You might, you could mix in some raises sometimes, though if you had a flush draw on the flop, then uh, you probably would have bet it yourself. Coming along, and how about a four brick? Moneymaker. Nice river for the German phenom. I like that. With the namesake of. The uh, godfather of the poker boom. <laughs> Jim, once he gets two calls on this turn card. Got it. I like the check here. You got to wonder what hands exactly, unless both players exactly had the queen and the ace of spades um, calling for a flush draw. You got to wonder what you are still ahead of here. I like the check. Probably looking to check call some of the time. Though it's pretty hard to find a ton of bluffs into two people on this exact river card. Some straights got there, the flush is already there, and uh, trip six is still alive and well, and I think I don't Jimmy know how is, you fold this. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty rough fold. I think you do have to call. Shows the six, money maker. Making money, man. $5,700 profit sliding over to the German. I like it. It is gonna fold back around, and I think money maker has a very, very easy call here. Going heads up to the flop. Queen somehow in the lead? Oh my god! 
Dude, oh look my this, god! Look at this flop, dude. What is that? Moneymaker just flopping a boat. Addy trip, dude. This, sorry, Addy. Unless you hit a queen, man. This money just goes in here. I think we're going to have an $18,000. Oh my time. god. If it doesn't go in, I'm going to be like, what are you guys doing? What are you people doing? Oh man, I think Moneymaker should probably just flat call here with a lot of attention of raising turns. Looks like he's though he might be going for the raise immediately, targeting hands exactly like what Addy is holding. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, what a It's like the anticipation. It's like we know the money's going in, which is like how's it gonna happen? Who's gonna do it? What are we gonna see? Such a cooler configuration. Oh man, Moneymaker is loving seeing that call. And a queen! Queen on the turn! Queen on the turn! Dude! Dude, Dude, that sucks. Dude. This really sucks for Wow. Moneymaker. Addy cannot contain himself. Oh, my God. <laughs> Moneymaker probably just going to pot it here. He's literally imploding inside. That queen is, at, like, honestly, though, that queen is a terrible card for Moneymaker. Right, because what is Addy calling with? Or, you know. Yeah, it's like now you have to hope Addy has exactly ace, king, or aces. Yep. If he has pocket queens, he's just, oh, dude, what a check. Can we talk about that check for a minute? That check is ridiculous. Many people would say, what are you doing? I freaking love that You're check. You're only getting. Oh, my God. You better get raised, you puke. Oh, my God. What a what a check. You allow the ace kings and, I don't know, king jacks to bed, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Oh, money man. Maker. This man's a pro. Money maker. Addy, with, it's just like, what do I even do now? Like, what am I supposed to do? I think you got to pot this for sure, like 3,000 and there, oh, just 2,000. Once Money Maker does check here, he's representing a somewhat weaker range. So Addy may be sizing down to target hands like maybe pocket jacks, uh, ace, jack maybe, maybe. Um, weaker kings and an eight, doesn't matter, means nothing. No flush draws Yikes. came in. So now Addy with an SPR less than one has just one move, I think. Oh, you just have to ship it here. There's just nothing else to do. And Moneymaker is going to have, I think, yeah. a tough decision. Yeah. You're just, like, praying he has exactly tens of queens. Oh, maybe he's not going to show. Oh. Uh, no, he's going to show. No, I think he's, uh, I think he's just, like, counting his chips. Beat sure. All in. There it is. And money. Oh, dude. He the knows. Fact, the fact that he hasn't snap called is, like, such a testament to how this guy plays. Like, yeah. Like, to anyone else, just this is just like, oh, okay, sorry, yeah, it's cool or whatever, you get my boat. money. How do I fold flopping a boat? Dude. Wow. Because, like, what, how many like how many bluffs does that he have? Like, you have to hope he has exactly ace-king or nothing. Yeah. Or or he's turning jacks into a bluff somehow. People some are asking way. about whether or not he was trapping or not. I think his face now is showing no, that he was not trapping. Certainly is not. No, dude. This is – I cannot believe – If he gets away from his hand, bro. If he folds his hand, I, like – I'm going to go on screen and give him a hug. Yeah. You guys yeah. will see in 15 – I'm not I'm not lying. I will do it. <laughs> I will walk out of the booth. This is insane. Yeah, and it's like, you know, call six to win 13. How often does Addy have a better boat, bro? I don't know. I mean, you do also lose to King-10, even though I don't think Addy's 3 in King-10. Oh, my God. You lose to Pocket Queens. You have to hope Addy's overvaluing Aces or has exactly Ace-King. Yeah. Lose Otherwise, King and even then, I don't even think Ace-King is, like, loving getting it in here. This is insane. Dude. 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 Oh, I'm doing nice freaking fold, bro. Dude, Moneymaker. What? Greg literally just left the booth. No telling what about what's about to happen, dude. That was... That's one of, you know, I'm, I'm not a pro by any means in terms of analysis, but it seems like that was a pretty hard fold to make. Another decision point. Yeah, Pocket eights in the this is such line. a rough spot to be in. I think I like the fold here. It sucks so hard when, like, the person who has played some of the least hands on the night, regardless of what their image is, it just is like it already looks strong. Um, and then in Halle three betting, you hate cold calling a three bets in between and then getting four bet for whatever reason. Yeah, like, well, I feel like an idiot, and I yeah. have to fold these now. So good fold there from Mr. Jim. And we do here uh, 1,200 
from Ms. Jen Halley. Not loving that, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you are perceiving the player to be tight, you should three-bet them wider as they're more likely to put it to faults. And Halley, dude, says, I'm in position to Gamble, suited Gamble. and connected cards. Let's do it. $2,500. Oh, my God. Oh, and he flops a double gutter. Double gutter backdoor diamonds. He's going to be baited in to continuing on this board. And, of course, Jen says, oh, my God. I have kings, and there's an ace on the board in a four-bet pot. And I think once Jen, I, I'm not sure if she checked her or not. It looked like she might have checked. Yes, she did. Checks over to Hallie, and I love his decision to barrel here. You have so many double barrel opportunities. You have equity when called, and you have, like, more. I think you have more aces in this spot than Jen does. Jen has all the nutted aces. She's getting four to one on 800. Yeah, she, I definitely can't fold yet, and a jack on the turn just bricks everything for Hallie. Jen not liking the board more and more, I'm sure. I might try to take a free card. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, once Jen checks, she either has a set of aces or she has kings, queens yeah. in this spot. Like, that's it. She might even have jacks, though, which I don't think so, but she might. Hallie does check to realize all of his equity does not. Ten ball on the river. Backdoor hearts getting there, though. They don't really matter. So now with two checks, Jen is going to try to get to a cheap showdown. She's given Hallie one more opportunity, and Hallie knows that he is no good with five high. Hallie would have to just ship it here, I think, to get the fold. SPR so low. Does he have it in him? Does he have it in him? Back to our hearts. I mean, it's hard out. to shove $6,000 with five high. It sure I is. Jack 10, all hearts board, but look at him. <laughs> look at him go, dude. Look at him go! Put it in, Hallie. I love strong. it. If he if he thinks Jen has kings or queens, look it's at that. Gets the fold, dude. High, I'm like, bro. what is she bidding if she calls? What a baller bet on the $7,500 pot. Headed over to Mr. Hallie Mr. with five high. Five high, baby. It's your dude. and Everyone has a side. <laughs> Queen 10 versus 7 versus deuce 3 of spades. How about deuces and threes for Brian? MF in green is what that Almost reads like. JD's got an overpair, bro. I mean, versus a thousand dollar bet from Ryan. Thousand and a thousand. Man, two pair. Mr. Brian Green, very dry board. I like his seven in a seven, a dude. What? So Brian has got dude. deuces and threes and a spade draw. JD, JD two outs him. JD. To flop what? top set or to turn Man. top set, bro. dude. JD taking his own advice oh. and just banking sets. And of course, Brian Green gonna keep betting this man. Seventeen hundred dollars back to JD. And what do you do now? Do you pop it? I think you got. I think you pop it. I mean, Brian was clearly interested in holdings on the flop. You gotta wonder what you can get value from. You're really hoping he doesn't have something like ace five. Or oh I don't know. I mean he, ace five probably calls, six five probably calls. Maybe he has like the, I think the worst hand on here that it, that Brian would reasonably have is like pocket fours or pocket sixes. Which might not call a raise, but everything else is two pairs and sets. Or pair plus straight combos. So I really love JD's uh, decision to put in the check raise here and, and just a snap Instant call. call. Wow, that's I'm sure JD loves seeing that when you're sitting with the effective nuts. That Six. might be a tell Six. to JD. Oh, no. Dude, quads. how about quads? Quads. quads. <laughs> I mean, Brian oh, now has man. got super counterfeited what here. What an action-killing card. JD, that's so – that'd be you, tilting What do you me. do now? Do you polarize and just jam? Yeah, I think you still have to – that's exactly what JD's size was setting himself up to do. I think you just have to jam here. It sucks so hard that – Brian got counterfeited on that card. It's so rough. Oh, he checks, though. Checks to maybe give Brian an opportunity to oh. run the bluff. Does check back, and JD's like, well, I got to show him. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> Brian is just like, oh, God. All oh, right. Wow. So, and May putting in the cold call. King Jack suited. Addy can now get a price coming right along. Going three ways to the flop. Addy needing a bit of help here. And certainly gets it, man. It's unfortunate, though. 
that Nate has a pair open ender spade draw. Uh -oh. Jen flops the joint. This is about to be a huge. This pot. is going to be a huge pot, dude. Oh my god, we're going to see like Jen flops a twenty k pot. Nate's for sure. got the open ended royal draw or open ended straight flush draw, and oh Addy's got top two pair, god. bro. Probably going to see Addy. He's got to. Ugh, I don't know. I think actually it calls the play here. Brick. Jen likes it. If we see a jack peel out. Oh, my God. Checks over to Jen. Still with the nuts. She was actually behind on the flop, splitting the equity uh, three ways. Yeah, she was behind slightly to Nate. She was behind by, like, two points. But on the flop? Yeah, on the flop. With the ace high straight? Yeah, with the ace high straight because Nate's got chop outs. He has flush outs. And, wow, she's Jen just going to ship it. Yeah, it's, I don't see how Nate could fold. I don't see how Nate could fold here. This $7,400 bet. 7400 into a pot that was like 5K, so it's an overbet jam here to two players. Very strong line, incredibly strong line. And, oh, and <laughs> Nate says all in. <laughs> and Addy's like, what do y'all have, bro? Yeah. <laughs> I blocked the I hands. I love his face. He is so perplexed. He's like, what in the heck happened here? What do you people have? I've blocked top two pair. I, this is yeah. yeah. This could be a thirty, whatever the math is. Whatever the math, something like that. I, I think three thousand dollar pot. The right play here, I think, more often than not, from Mr. Addy is to fold. Good he fold, does man. fold. Great Good fold. fold. Oh my God, we are going to a run out here. King Jack of Spades, not that far behind, man. And we are going twice. He says, yep, I've got, yeah, I've got draw. the draw. Ace yeah, on chop. that one. Chopping the first one. Not he might quarter. Not, he might. And not the, not really the, uh, the the card she wanted to see. And, dude, quarter. wow. Three quarters. Nate just wins three quarters of a 20. Oh, man. That is so brutal. That is sick, dude. She gets it in just so good on the turn. Nate reshoves with the open and a straight flush draw. Binks the ace for a chop, and then uh, binks the second spade to win the second board. And Moneymaker waking up ace king. Three bets to 900. Yep, standard 3x here. Everybody going to fold other middling holdings. Brian, pocket fours. If he calls here, ace ten's definitely got a call. I think ace ten's call. I think Nate's calling either way. But, yeah, Brian going to put in the flat call here. Nate very much priced in with a very playable hand post. Four is ahead for the moment, though they have a rough time holding up post. 2700 in the pot. <clears throat> Nine, six, king. Two spades. Top, top for Moneymaker. One heart for Nate. And a lot of backdoor equity. Got to bet, got to bet, got to bet. Oh, you got to bet here 110%. If you don't bet here, I'm, I'm going to take back my hug. 1,500. But, of course, he goes for it, as is pretty standard. Nate, not going oh, anywhere yet. float action. Getting That's sticky. Hoping for, like, a jack of hearts. But you got a jack. Jack of clubs. You got the jack. Jack of hearts definitely... We see the money get in. Relatively brick turn, unless you're putting Nate on exactly queen 10. That's calling for a gutter. You'd have to have, like, exactly queen 10 of spades. I think Moneymaker's got to go for two barrels here. Your main value target still exists. King, queen still very much alive. King 10 in there as well. But he does go for the check bag. Queen. Oh, I thought, no, I saw the face card. We were <laughs> Jack Hart's on the end, Kings and Jacks with an ace for Moneymaker. So what a good hand. I wonder if Nate's going to barrel here now that Moneymaker has shown weakness. I think the Jack definitely helps Nate more often than Moneymaker. And he's going to make have to make this real big. Yeah, I think so. And, it, and real big indeed. How about just full pot? 5,500. Boom, 5,500. I don't think that's a, that's a big boy bet. I don't think this is going to get through. No, it's We've seen Moneymaker make one big fold tonight, but I don't think this one's going to get through. The board paired. Nate definitely has more jacks, though all the flush draws bricks. The only straight that, I, that got there is queen 10. It's a big bet. It is a big bet here. Nate is think about it. 
repping some heavy hands, though. I think Moneymaker got a call. Good there good call. it is, dude. Nate shows it, and Moneymaker shows it, getting a huge pot. Props, props to Nate for having going the stones to go for it there. $16,000 pot headed over to Moneymaker. Moneymaker is just about perfect tonight. Yeah, he really is.